Hi everyone. I wanted to spend a minute to introduce you to my new pet hamster. This is him in this photo. I got him two days ago. When I woke up this morning, the hamster had effectively put a do not disturb sign on the entrance to his sleeping hut. Take a look at how he blocked it all with shavings. Oh gosh. I had a really good chuckle when I first woke up this morning. His name's Mike. The two boys on my street have named him for me. The serious part of this video is that a pet is one of the recommended strategies for living with a chronic condition. I had a cat in 2009. I had to go to Ottawa to have both my hip joints rebuilt and I didn't recover as expected. I was gone for about five and a half months. My cat couldn't cope even though I had someone taking care of him and he had to be put down. He was wrecking my home, peeing everywhere, quite literally everywhere. So I don't want to do that and I can't live with myself doing that to another cat. So a hamster's about a three-year commitment and then I can reevaluate where I'm at. You know, it's not practical to think that I could take care of a cat or a dog. I think a hamster is a good match for where I'm at right now. If you are struggling, another option would be pet fish, where the calming effect of watching the fish will help you have the best quality of life that's possible. Why I've selected this is that it'll be nice to be here on the days when I'm feeling weak from my hips and my knees and the effect that this has on my life. So I'm making this video in part to introduce Mike to you, but the more serious part of this is to ask you to give some thought to what you have control over that you can help your quality of life yourself. You may need friends to implement it, but give some thought to promoting your own quality of life. It'll go a long way in motivating the doctors to help treat you or do their part in giving you the best quality of life possible. I've noticed in my own care when the doctors have seen me being engaged in life, it's taken away a lot of the resistance that I'm only well, at the time, 33 years old, needing hip replacement surgery. They could see that it would be beneficial, opposed to a pain clinic keeping me comfortable for a few decades. I hope this will give you something to think about, and thank you for the pleasure of sharing him with you. Have a good day. Bye for now.